All right, welcome to the Georgia Assassin channel. If you are watching this, it's probably going to be because you came into a position at some point where you didn't have one of these and needed it. Um, and you were in a position of, you know, it's either straight wire it without it and I hope for the best or stop what you're doing, go to the store, get one. Maybe the store didn't have one. I'm just throwing this scenario at you guys because this is some useful information. Uh, I don't say need to know, but um, if you come into this situation, this will help you out greatly because what I'm going to show you, most of you already have. A lot of people just haven't thought about it. Hell yeah. <laughs> All right, so first and foremost, welcome to the Georgia Assassin channel. This is a primary outdoor, primarily outdoor hunting and fishing channel, but I do do some off-road stuff. Because I did work in the um, 12 volt accessory market for vehicles for over 10 years professionally. Um, so this is something I'm gonna just show you that hopefully helps somebody out. I don't think you should do this in every situation. If the situation emerges where this is the only way that you can get by, by all means, do it. It works. If nothing else, this is a temporary fix. A legit temporary fix. It's not going to cause anything to catch on fire, burn up. Everything's going to be fused properly. Let's get into it. So here's your standard ATC inline fuse holder. Inline meaning you've got your, your load wire. Um, we'll use this as that example. So here's your load wire. This is coming from the battery. This is going to your device. All right. So inline fuse means you go inline with the load. All right, so now your device is fused on this side of the wire. You probably already know that if you're watching this, but I figured I'd go ahead and cover that anyway. All right, so this is a standard Metro inline fuse holder. If you look down inside of here, you'll see what appears to be two female slide connectors in this little platform that they molded into. All right. So, if you don't have one of these, and you're down to uh, being in a position where you're gonna have to go fuseless, or do one of the old twisty tie things, hope for the best, not gonna worry about it because the chances of it shortening are slim to none. Uh, I've been in those positions, obviously, so I figured this out. You don't wanna do this. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take two insulated female slides. I know these are 10 gauge, this wire is a 16 gauge. I know, I know, I know. Just for the purpose of this video, this is how we're gonna do it. So we're gonna go ahead and put these on there. They don't have to be um, insulated. You could use them uninsulated. These are also double crimp, but for the purposes of this video, just doing it fast and quick, show you how you can get through that until you can either get you your fuse, inline fuse holder, get you a fuse block or whatever else you wanna use. So there we go. Battery side, load side. Well, this shit would actually be like this. We're just using a piece of square scrap wire that I had. Simply take your fuse, slide it in your fuse holder on this leg. Take this one and do the same thing. Boom. And there you go. You have just made yourself your very first inline fuse holder. And by the way, it's a lot cheaper. I'm not saying that you should, you know, do business moving forward like this, but this is a very good way to get you through. If the situation presents itself, run you some tape around here, run you a few things of tape around here. It should uh, secure it up where it's not gonna fall apart on you and then uh, proceed. Well, if you like this video, go ahead and hit that like button. If you wanna see more videos like this, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. If you're into hunting and fishing, I've got you covered. Um, Again, thanks for watching. Hope you learned something.